To our roof, Snoop Rocket. Tune in to Will Mass Artist Spotlight. My name is Snoop Rocket. I'm an artist and the founder of Our Roo, record label and the clothing line. Roo is an acronym for Righteous Universal Ethics. You know, and uh, the, the, the name stemmed from a symbolic bond, a pledge of allegiance, you know, through Righteous Universal Ethics. Uh, an artist to me is somebody that's able to take you in a trance with their words or, or their paint. If they the type of artist that paint, they able to take you in a trance and, and make you see what they saying, make you visualize what they saying. I'm from Harvey, man. I grew up rough. It's been, it's been rough around this camp. Uh, you know, but we still capitalized through it all. You know, made something out of nothing. And we striving towards greatness. First song I ever recorded with was Will Mads. You, you remember that? First song, I think Dreezy got on it too, right? Dreezy, our first song. I was just freestyling around the block one day. It came out of nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Just uh, freestyling and the, and the people that was around me, they they was feeling the freestyle, you know, and they, they start, you know, Start requesting for me to freestyle. Then I had caught a case. I ended up catching a case and I bonded out. When I bonded out, you know, I, I, I took my little notebook, called Will, and, and, and went to the studio. You know, I went in there, Dreezy was in there, and we recorded like, what, like three, four songs? Yeah, we recorded like three, four songs. You know, at first I was, I was like, you know, I was kind of nervous about my shit, you know what I'm saying? Coming out of the out of the booth, my first time recording, you know, I'm looking around, looking at everybody's reaction, trying to, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm looking for people to, to root me on and, and bob their head, you know what I'm saying? But as I'm looking around, everybody in the, in the booth was was quiet as we listening to the song. So I'm uh, initially, I'm like, man, damn, that shit garbage, you know? But as I started to pay attention to everybody, their reaction was different because, you know, like I say, what an artist is to me, they was in a trance, you know what I'm saying? And visualizing the things that I was saying and they was really feeling it, you know? So as I started to pay attention to everybody, facial expression and their reactions, it was like, like, yeah, they was really listening, you know what I'm saying? And I took them to that place. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just creative. Like I'm, I'm, I'm creative, you know what I'm saying? But the creativity all comes from a genuine place. So the best aspect is to be able to be so creative and really be unfold real stories, you know what I'm saying? Real experience and real memories, real doings, real life that I go through on a daily basis. So to be able to unfold that and get that to people, that real life story, in so many different fashions, that has to be my best aspect. It usually always come from the heart, so it been, you know what I'm saying, it probably been something that I done been going through, you know, I might be sitting back listening to a beat and that, and that, that experience that I'm going through, it be like, it, it, it come off, it come off in plain and clear language and then I start building on top of that, you know what I'm saying? That, that first studio session, seeing them people going into that trance and really listening to that music, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and feeling them words, you know, especially the ones that, that know me and, and know, you know what I'm saying? The thing that I'm talking about and they know that it's, it's, it's true. The way that they reacted to it, you know, it influenced them and motivated them, inspired them, you know what I'm saying? I have people that tell me, you know what I'm saying? They, that the music really helped them get through some hard times in their life. One of the biggest inspirations was, you know, one of, one of my family members lost his daughter. 
lost his daughter and um you know it was a song that i made and he told me that was the only thing that helped him get through that you know what i'm saying so hearing that was like you know i can't stop i gotta keep you know what i'm saying healing them and influencing them with this music I strive towards being righteous you know what i'm saying i talk about a lot of the i talk about a lot of the the experiences you know what i'm saying coming up you know, in, in the trenches, what they call it. But, you know, it, it, it's not me talking about these experiences, not to brag on them or boast on them. Like, it's, it's all good. You know, it's just sharing them experiences and sharing how, you know, we striving to be in a better position. You know, we striving to make something out of nothing. You know, if we was living a life of negativity, we striving towards positivity and striving towards transcending the, the ill behavior. And you know what I'm saying? and unlearning the, the, you know, the bad information we've been given. It's to continue to, you know, influence through this music and, and, and my whole journey, my whole journey of transcending, you know what I'm saying? And coming out of Harvey, you know, making it out of the, the, the trenches, you know, being one uh, who has faith, whole goal is, is is, is to inspire and motivate. Advice, best advice I got is to, you know what I'm saying, stay true. Like keep that music coming from your heart. Don't don't go off into what people say you should be making or, or what they want to hear. You gotta stay true to yourself, you know what I'm saying? Because when you get to trying to make what the people want or you get to trying to, you know what I'm saying, think about what the people want and that's, that's where your creative process is coming from. You get lost in that and your music is no longer genuine. It's no longer coming from the heart. Uh, right now we focus on Aru. Aru Galore. Aru. www.r-o-u-r-ru. R-u-e dot com. You know, we got a lot of merch. Hoodies, shirts, hats, jogger suits, track suits. Uh, ski mask. We working on that right now. We got another project coming up on the music. Uh, Still blitzing. Coming soon. And we just building, man. My top one right now for me is is Rod Wade. Rod Wade. He he he. Top for me. He at the top of the five. You know what I'm saying? Because he the only artist right now that that. Who music I listen to and they they influence me, you know what I'm saying, or motivate me and encourage me on what I'm on, you know what I'm saying? That bottom boy survive. I like that. That's similar to what I'm on, you know what I'm saying? We transcending and trying to make it out, you know. I like uh what Kodak doing right now, you know what I'm saying? Um, besides that, I ain't really been listening to nobody. But myself, you know what I'm saying? I like, uh, shout out Big Grand. I like what Big Grand doing. But besides that, you know, I, I be listening to myself, man. Because, you know, the music is more than music to me. So I be wanting to listen to what's going to motivate me on my mission, whatever I'm on. You know what I'm saying? Whether I'm, I'm busting a move, I'm going to get some money. I be wanting to hear that type of music that's going to, you know what I'm saying? Make me want to hurry up and get there to the money, you know? Or make me want to keep getting to the money and them the only only people that's been close to what I'm going through or what I'm on right now. I got V's in, in, a, in a wedding ring, man. <laughs> I ain't got no crust. That's a trick question. <laughs> we a boogie try to trick me, man. Got him. Aru, of course. Aru, man. Aru, we we practicing and proclaiming this and wearing it on our sleeve. Our righteous universal ethics. You know, and it all started with a thought. We manifested that thought and we've been going strong. So, you know, it's top, top, top of the fashion to me. Real life. Sometimes, I mean, you know, sometimes people you don't, you don't want to be around. Sometimes, you know, you sometimes you got to give people a, 
a, a, just a glimpse. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't, you only could give them a snippet because they might think you're trying to split it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, uh, real life though, the internet is the devil. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I try to be careful the way I deal with the internet because the internet the devil. You know what I'm saying? And, and you, you people spying on you. You know what I'm saying? On the internet and. and you, you can't really tell who rooting for you or who waiting on you to fall. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather deal with people in person. I'd rather be able to see, you know what I'm saying? If they nodding their head when I, uh, or if they if they ducking their head when I walk in a room, I'd rather, you know what I'm saying, be able to judge their body language and their posture. And, and you know what I'm saying? Not just go off what they saying or typing, but you know, matching the body language with their words. Uh, I wouldn't change nothing about myself. Proud of who I am, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm proud of who I am. I'm, 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 I'm strong. You know, I, I understood a lot of trials and tribulations and I continue to progress. I gotta say, Perry's got it right now. Perry's Steakhouse. I got a, I got a hand on my chest. I got a uh, two hands holding the world in it, with a baby hand reaching for the world. You know what I'm saying? So that symbolizes me giving the world to my child. Shout out everybody that's been rocking for our rule, man, and, and rooting for our rule. You can catch us on Instagram at rule.rocket, Facebook at Snoop Rocket, Snoop Rocket on every site. Music Snoop Rocket S N O O K Rocket R O G G E T on Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon, all streaming platforms, Facebook Music, Instagram Music. You know what I'm saying? So just like you, you know, y'all type them superstars name in there and, and work out to their song with their song playing up there at the top, man. You can put Snoop Rocket up there at the top.